Welcome to another Component Studio 2 tutorial. I'm Andrew Voigt, and today we're going to be talking about drift, cut lines, the design overlay, and built-in variables that help you make sure some of your designs don't accidentally get cut off. First of all, the system overlay you see here correlates directly to the cut lines you see on a Game Crafter product template. For example, let's look at a poker card. These cut lines help make sure that important parts of your designs don't accidentally get cut off by drift in the printing process. For more information about drift, see this article on the Game Crafter. In short, drift is the difference between where an image is printed and how accurately the cut on the card is to the location of the print. Meaning, by a natural part of the printing process, most cards will be slightly off-center. These cut lines are guides to you when designing your card, so no important parts of your card get cut off due to drift. The red section is the bleed zone. You want to make sure that any artwork or color go to the edge of this bleed zone, because if any drift occurs, whatever is in that bleed zone will show on one side of the card. So if you leave it white, for example, you might have a card with a white line running down the edge of it. The bolder red line is the cut or the trim line. This is where the card is intended to be cut. And the blue line is the safe zone. All vital information of your card should be within this blue line, so that even in the most extreme case of drift, the details inside this blue line will be safe. You can turn the overlay on or off while making your design using this button here. There are a few system variables that you can use to make sure your design elements are arranged correctly. Let's look at them with this image of a skeleton. Let's open position and size. It's important to remember that assets are always drawn from the top left corner, meaning if your X and Y are at 0, 0, your image will be drawn at the very top left corner of the design. Now, let's say I want to make sure that this skeleton is right up on the edge of the cut line. I can go to the left box, click Design, and select one of these variables. In this case, I want them to line up with the trim on the left. So I select Trim Left, and it copies it to my clipboard. So I can paste it in the field, and the skeleton will automatically adjust to that red cut line. If I change this to design safe left, he moves to the blue line. Now I want to make sure that the top moves to the safe spot. So I'm going to go to the top box, go to design, select safe top, and paste that in the field. That's pretty good. But notice that he still goes off the screen to the right. Now, depending on your game and your assets, you may not want to stretch or squash your images. But in this case, I want to squash this image so it stays within that safe zone. So I'm going to change my maintain aspect ratio to stretch to fill. And by default, we see I have the design safe width variable in there and the design safe height variable in there so it automatically stretches to fit in that spot. So you can either use this to get the edges of the trim or safe zones, or the height and width of the card itself, the trim sections, or the safe sections. These variables can be extremely useful to set up some rapid prototypes. Also be aware, each of these actually represents a static number. If you're curious what that number is, you can hover over the box once you have it in there. So in this case, design safe left would be the same as me just putting 75 in that field. And if I hover design safe width, that's the same as putting 675 in that field. So if you want to know what numbers the system is actually working with, go ahead and hover over the respective field. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching another Component Studio tutorial. If you have questions or comments, leave them below in YouTube. You can go ahead and post to our Component Studio Facebook group or join the Game Crafter Discord server. 
Until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make the best games you can.